Welcome back guys, Unknown003 here, coming at you with a new Killer Instinct tutorial, our character tutorial. And yeah, now we're going to be using uh, Chief Thunder. So, probably one of my favorite characters in the series, but in this game he definitely got elevated for sure. But anyways, so with Thunder, he's uh, definitely a more grapple character, and although he does have floatiness to him, as well as the fact that he has a slow walk speed. He is very viable for the fact that he does have a half screen command grab. That's pretty good. Not to mention the fact that like his most of his combos are very damaging and will leave a mark. So if you are a fan of like you know making people panic in between your like mix-ups and stuff, especially when you have instinct. This is definitely your character, but otherwise, in terms of getting zoned, let alone being from full screen, that's kind of where his faults lie, which is what ultimately makes him a lower tier character, unfortunately. But anyways, enough of the negatives, we're going to get straight to the positives here. So, first things first, let's go ahead and start with the, uh, you know, like the normals. You got the quick jabs, you know, quick... Crouching light punch, standing light punch, that's medium punch, crouching medium punch, heavy punch, slightly lunges forward, and of course pretty decent range, and then crouching heavy. This is also one of his uh, anti-air options as well when they jump. So we got light kick, crouching light, medium. Crouchy medium, heavy, lunches forward a bit, and of course the sweep, crouching heavy kick. So now in terms of like the air moves, that's his light punch, this is his medium. Not really too great, but of course the heavy. This is a cross up option. But again, since he has a floaty jump, he does not gain that much momentum going forward. So you kind of have to compensate for that, especially with like, when you do a, you know, like a hard counter, or not hard counter, but um, a knockdown. So yeah, compensate for that. Here's the uh, light kick here. Got the medium kick. Also a decent cross up option. And then crowd um, jumping heavy punk kick. Jumping heavy kick. There we go. So yeah, that's the basics for his air normals and his normals. So now we're gonna get to his character trait. So the special thing about Thunder is the fact that you could start up a combo with a grab. But it's gotta be a back grab. And in the middle of a combo as well. I'd say the main downside to doing this, especially if you if you do something like this, it's not going to be very damaging. So that's why most people will, like if they do decide to do it, they would just rely mostly on the this as an opening. Think, think. But again, even so, not too damaging. So yeah. That's pretty much the character trait for that. So now we'll get into the special moves. So let's go with the special or with the unique one first, which is this one right here. So this one is actually called Call of Sky. And what it does is that it allows you to use the Murder of Crows dash uh, once. But you do have 10 seconds to use it, otherwise it'll just go away. So you got that. And you get that as well. Like you'll be able to transfer to the other side of the character if you are close to him. And it's really good for pressure. So something like that. I'll get more into it once we get to his instinct, but let's go ahead and do this really quick. So if you activate it during a projectile thrown at you. While a projectile is thrown at you, 
you can actually destroy the projectile. But of course, it's only one. Um, it only works like with a singular projectile, so good luck trying to do it with like shadow projectiles. And not to mention the fact that if you do have it activated and you are trying to avoid it, you can simply just dash through it as well. So that's one of the unique things about it. So next move is going to be uh, a very familiar one, which is the triple axe. So with the light one, it's only two hits. Oh, that ain't it. Yeah, instead of the typical three, but you will see that once you get to like the medium here. Or the heavy specifically, yeah, there we go. So, we'll go to the shadow version. The neat thing about the shadow triple axe is the fact that you can get a hit of armor while activating it. Yeah, see, as you see that, for example, projectile is gone. It's kind of neat. So, there you go. But yeah, let's go ahead and use this. And then the heavy version is basically a wall splat if you are close to the uh, to the stage wall, of course. Otherwise, it'll just, you know, like, knock them back. Just like that. Which, honestly, is a little um, risky considering that, again, he's not really too great from uh, long distance. Anyways, so that's triple X for you. Now we'll get to uh, his command grab, which is uh, Call of the Earth. So this is a half screen command grab. It's pretty good. Bam. The distance in that is pretty crazy. And there's nothing too special about it aside from the fact that like, you know, it is unblockable. And yeah, it's also a damage ender if you do it as the combo ender. So you got that. And yeah, the shadow version is also pretty unique because of the fact that one, it's also a damage ender, and two, it's also a juggle opportunity. So pretty cool. And yeah, it definitely leaves a mark for sure. So that's basically Call of the Earth, and I guess one last thing to mention is the fact that you are throw immune in the middle of like the startup of that move as well, so compensate for that. So now we go into Ankle Slicer. The startup takes a, it takes a little bit, but ultimately this is a low attack. Which is a uh, pretty good to start. Yeah, so you got that, and there you go. And I did forget to mention that his one of his special normals is the fact that he can do an overhead uh, like double axe. So that's an overhead. But one of the special things that people like doing to kind of like keep the pressure, especially if you are still trying to learn the game is overhead ankle slicer so you go from an overhead to immediate low but again you got many different options to do with uh, thunder to keep the pressure which is very handy but anyways going back to ankle slicer if you uh, end it with that you get meter for it. So it's a, considered a battery ender. Unfortunately, you are not given too much uh, meter for it. Because with Thunder, he's not too reliant on like gaining meter specifically. That's more of like for characters like Jago, for example. But anyways, there's Inko Slicer. The Shadow version is damaging and heavily reliable especially if you're trying to end with like the uh, call of the earth grab even the shadow version so I'll go ahead and show you the damage potential so 
Yeah, so almost 70%, which is insane. But, again, it's going to require both meters, and you know the drill. So, yeah, that's Inkle Slicer. And his final special move is going to be the uh, Samamish. So this one you definitely probably have seen if you played, like, the original Killer Instinct. That's just simply his one of his anti-air options, as well as, you know, just a uh, launcher. But also, he has three follow-ups to that move, if you do connect. So you got the light, which is just a simple flip out in the air. That's a light kick. The medium kick, which is a hard knockdown. And then the heavy kick, which is a ground bounce, to basically continue a jungle. Yeah, so there you have it for that. So I guess uh, I'll show you a little bit of like the juggle potential with him. That ain't it. Let's try this here. <laughs> so there you go. Not too much. And even despite being regularly focused on like the juggling there, it did almost 50%, which is insane. But again, high damaging character for sure. And yeah, that's like the basic premise of of his special moves. So now we'll go into his instinct. So with this, this is going to be called a... Um, one second. Let's actually have the bot uh, block really quick. So block all. There we go. Okay, so this one, uh, what is this called? <laughs> Again, professional guys, professional. Alright, yeah, Murder of Crows. I literally said it earlier, I don't know what's wrong with me. But yeah, so this is called Murder of Crows. What it basically does is that it allows you to constantly, like, dash. Because with this, for example, you could only do it once, but on instinct, you could do it as many times as you want. So long as instinct is active, of course. So it allows you to cancel after any special move in particular. So you got this, and you could, you know, cancel yourself to the other side. You could choose to uh, retreat as well, gives you a pretty decent amount of distance. And you can cancel into a grab, which is super ben beneficial for him as well. So yeah, that's the base of his instinct. The basis of his instinct, excuse me. And that's about everything with Thunder. You know, except for, of course, his... Uh, <laughs> his ultra. Oh, that's right. He's blocking everything. Duh. Okay. Uh. One second. There we go. Very. Very cool. I like his taunt, it's like so simple. But if you do hold back while you do it, you kind of just... <laughs> you can just keep doing it. Anyways. Getting carried away here. Uh, that's pretty much it for Thunder, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, tutorial. You know, it's as simple as I could possibly put it. Without being too repetitive on it. But, nonetheless, tune in next week where we dive into Sadira, which is a completely different archetype than Thunder. But, until then guys, thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see y'all next time. Fight on everyone. Ready. Fight!
Oh! 